This is a curvy 3D tutorial showing off some of the primitive types you can make in curvy 3D 4.0. This model was made mainly out of uh, lathe objects and the lathe objects themselves are made out of curves with the orange lines here being the curves for the objects. Let's zoom in on this torso object. Now this object is symmetrical and it's made out of three curves. A front curve, a back curve and a side curve. I'm going to redraw the object as the curve order is important. So I've selected the creation tools and the lathe object. I've drawn the front curve and the back curve and then in the front view I've drawn the side. This gives us an asymmetrical object but we can click on lathe symmetry or press M to make it symmetrical. Just tidy up the curves a bit with pressing S to smooth them. And increase the resolution. Now the other parts of the, the model use uh, four lines because they're not symmetrical. So you draw the front, back, left and right side of the object. For instance, this calf muscle. I'm going to draw the, the front in the side view. And the back. Notice the object is being created on the center line, so we need to move and rotate that into position. Uh, shortcut keys for this are W, E and R for W move, E rotate, R for scale. When we're rotating, we want to hold down shift to get a smooth rotation, or we can turn off snap rotation. Now I've rotated it into place, I can draw, use the curve tools and add curve to draw the sides of the object. Now I'm going to use this, the smooth ruler to smooth out segments of the curves. And pressing T gives me the widget move tool, which lets me drag the curve around to, for fine tuning. And there we have a four curve lathe. So the rest of the model is made up of three and four curved lathes. Um, we can also make a lathe with a single curve. In this case, I'm going to be drawing a detailed curve. So I want to change the drawing setting from smooth curves to detailed curves.
So in the curve menu, I'm going to select draw detailed curves. Draw precise lines. This will turn off the smoothing, which you normally get when you're drawing curvy objects. Now we'll want to manually smooth some parts of this. So again, I'm going to use the um, Align to Axis just to line it up vertically so it's straight in the world. And then the, the Smooth Ruler to smooth out segments. Just going to use the Smooth Ruler again to smooth out the sub-segments. Oops, smooth the whole thing. There we go. Remember to switch back to draw smooth lines so when we draw the next object it won't have the precise lines turned on. Another object I make quite a lot is um, straps and belts, and I make these out of lathes. So again with the Create Lathe tool, I draw the edge of a strap on one side of the object. Then with the Widget Move tool I just drag that into a more defined shape. Now here, I don't want to draw the other curves in the object, so I'm going to copy them. So I'm going to clone them, starting with a mirror clone, and rotate it into place. And because the it's using the same curve, you get a nice regular mesh going round in a circle around the object. Then another curve cloned. I'm going to rotate this to be the front of the object. And move it into position. And then one more mirror clone will copy that curve to the back of the object. And we've created a, a sort of strap around the leg. Next I'm going to show you how to use a loft object to make these little, um, the ends of the straps. So again, creation tools, create loft. So this one's basically an arrow shape. It's got the center line, the start line, and the finish line. I'm 
I'm going to use the widget move tools to bend those curves a bit. And redraw it as a smooth arc. Then I just need to add some depth to turn it into a strap. using the ruler tool to tighten up the edges. Next I'm going to use another uh, loft, this time to create the edge of a pauldron. So a loft, you draw along the line, then a, a first edge and a last edge. You don't actually need the last edge, so in this case we only drew a long and a first edge. And this gives us uh, a long flat shape, curving to follow the, the line. Again, I used redraw as an arc ruler, a circle arc, to make that a nice smooth curve and add some depth to finish off the piece. I find lofts and slabs very useful for detailing. Now let's use a slab to make some detail. So this belt buckle is, uh, is made out of a slab object. So on creation tools, pick slab. I'm going to draw the outline of the object roughly with the uh, add curve tool and then go back in with the rulers to sharpen up the shape. So if I'm happy with that shape I'm going to clone the curve and use the shrink tool, scale tool, to shrink it down a bit. This second curve cuts a hole in the slab. So scaling it down shrinks the hole a bit. Now to make the final object we want to mirror the mesh. So to mirror it, you have to line it up with the center line of the whole scene. And then go mesh mirror. And that creates a conti continuous object. Now 
The hair is also a loft object, uh, not a loft, uh, a, a lathe, a three line lathe. Just show you how to make a um, make one of these rings. I'm going to draw a rough circle with the line tool. Right click to select the curve and redraw as a circle arc. And then select the closed loop option to make a con continuous ring. So this object is made up of lots of lathes, slabs, lofts. Um, at this stage it's not been posed or sculpted into, but later on I weld the parts together, and merge them and do add a lot, another layer of sculpting into these primitive objects. 